Hi everyone. In this video, we will be giving an overview of Flippity.net. Some of you may be wondering what Flippity is. Flippity is a completely free website with tons of free templates to help you create interactive resources using Google Sheets. These templates can be used in a variety of ways with a variety of subjects. And as you can see, there are a lot of different options. Um, the nice thing with Flippity is if you want to try it out yourself before creating one, all you have to do is press demo and it'll take you to their example of how it works. And then you can decide if you want to create one. There's also instructions walking you through step-by-step -step how to create that template. And then the template is how you access the Google Sheets copy for your own. So in this rest of this video, we will show you some of the templates we've created and have used in our own classes. This is an example of the Flippity Manipulatives template that I use in my third grade classroom with my students who still struggle with identifying the medial vowel sound. So how I use this with them is I ask them to spell out a CVC word and they will drag out the letters and see how the word looks. So if I did the word cat, they'd simply just drag and drop out the letters that make the word cat. And what I have also done is if they drag out, say if they did an O instead of an A, I'd ask them to read me this word and we talk about the difference between the O sound and the A sound. And I've used this a couple times and they like being able to move them, especially since we're virtual for my class. So being able to move and so just writing out the words they've liked a lot. This is an example of the Flippity randomizer template that the speech therapist at my school created to use with her speech students. So all you do is you can spin all the wheels at the same time by pushing this button and it'll spin and spin and then it'll make a word across and you can have the students read what word that is. If you want it to pop out at them when it's done spinning, you can just press this auto zoom option, push again, and then have them read this nonsense word. If you want one wheel at a time, you can come down here and push these if you wanted to make a word that makes sense instead of a nonsense word, you can do it that way too. This is an example of the Flippity Spelling Works template. So I'm able to easily differentiate the spelling list for my students based on their level. On the template, all I would do is I would put their name and then I put their list of words below. And then when they come in, they just click on their name and they can listen to each word. The practice option gives them, it says it for them and they can practice spelling it. Spell away. The quiz option would be their spelling test. So they just click on that and it would tell them to spell a word and they spell it. And then those results can get sent to my email. If they click the more, then they have more options. They can do a word search. They can do fun with words, a matching game. But the big thing is you can differentiate easily with your list for your students instead of having to have different templates for the different lists. And this is in a third grade classroom. One other way to use the Flippity matching template in third grade would be vocab words. So I have Please. the word on one card and then they go through and they find the Angle. definition to stop or pause because you are unsure with spirit and joy. And so they just go through and then Clean. they match the word with spirit and joy with the definition. 
And then when all the cards are gone as an accountability piece for my virtual students, I just have them screenshot the end screen and upload it to their Seesaw vocab choice board, which this is linked to. Hi, my name is Morgan Jordan, and I'm a first grade teacher at Woodland. This is how I use Flippity with my students. So I first had them play a Flippity, and in this Flippity, I wanted them to match up 10 plus uh, ones to make a T number. So I just put my bitmoji on the 10 front plus four. to make it a little more exciting 14. for them. And then had them match 10 plus four equals 14. After they cleared the board, I had them go back into Seesaw. I know I could have set up the email option so that I would have gotten an email when they did complete the flippity, but we do share within my grade level, so I didn't want over 50 emails coming in. So I just had them do a little show what you know and draw a picture or use emojis to show the number, what was 10 plus 9, and then they would answer the number sentence as well. I think that flippity is a great new resource to use in my school. We have been using it and very much enjoying it. Flippity in the primary classroom. So in Seesaw, you can link in the Flippity and then it will open up like this. This is an example of a phonics. So I have our spelling pattern, phonics pattern, and then pictures so they can go through and match the word to the picture. There's also an option when you create a Flippity to have words read um, in lots of different languages. I have that off, but if it was on, it would read the word as I was going. You can also use it in math. This is an addition example. So you can go through and type in any addition problem, an answer that you would want, or a subtraction, whatever you are working on at the time to make the work a little bit more engaging. I would like to show you how I've used Flippity to incorporate some vocabulary practice with word study. I created a seesaw activity and my students are assigned a group. They might be an owl group, a popcorn group, a donut group, or an apple group. And depending on which group they are, they will just tap on the link to get to the page with their specific vocabulary practice. I have some of the words written in a Quizlet, but I've also incorporated flippity matching and a flippity game board. I'm going to show you the flippity matching. Students will just tap on the link to go to the flippity matching. And in this activity, I have designed words and descriptions with the um, ability to have it read. So when they tap on it, it's automatically on. Talking between two or more people. Example, what are you talking about? He asked. And then they tap over another card to try to find the match for the word. A book containing a lot of things that you and buy, use, etc. And often pictures examples. Automobile parts. Types of clothing. Now, of course, you can see that these are not a match. They are outlined in red. Also, we know they're not a ma match because they are both um, definitions and examples, not... A term. So when they just tap, they flip back over, they say it stay in the same spot. Conversation. And then they decide where is conversation and then try to find conversations match. Once they find a match. Talking between two or more people. Example, what are you talking about? He asked. You can see it's a green match. And then when they tap the screen there, they will go away. Uh, they will stay there. They can also tap this volume speaker button to have the sound turned off so that they, if they do not need that read to them. You can use this activity in multiple ways for different vocabulary. Um, you can use it in other uh, examples such as math facts or social studies vocabulary, scientific terms, all of those types of things. My students can practice vocabulary words in a seesaw activity by clicking on a link to a flippity game board. I'm going to show you the game board. In this game board, students will choose a pawn or two if they would like to play an imaginary player and then move their pawn. 
they tap over here on the die to roll, and it tells them how many spaces, one, two, three. When they land on a space with an I, it will give them a, they tap the I and it'll give them a box. In this case, move forward four spaces. Close this window and draw a blue card. The blue cards are where I can then incorporate the vocabulary skill. So when they tap on a card, it gives them a word and then they have to think what is, what is the definition or example for conversation. When they tap the check, they can self-check and see their answers. And they continue through this game until they get to the end. It's pretty engaging. They seem to like it a lot. You could use this game board for other uses. You could use it for math fact practice, uh, fraction review. You can incorporate pictures. You can even put pictures on the board pieces themselves instead of colors. There are lots of ways to make this in unique and individual and it's very easy.